You know, eventually I'm gonna run out of clever intros like this and have no nothing to say at the beginning to make myself sound smart or cool. Anyways, here we are back with some more Let's Play Platinum. In the last part, we got halfway through this interesting route and in this part we are going to do things. And this is basically a summary of the things that all I did off screen. So I got an elixir and I also got TM06 Toxic, which inflicts toxic poison, which will accumulate damage at every turn. It's a good good, good move. Any Pokemon can learn that can learn TM, so it's a pretty nice move. So we're just gonna continue on. I talked about the move to the house in the last part, I think, which is cool. You can teach moves. You probably won't have no shards to teach anything good or anything at all, but there's a cool amount of moves you can teach from there. So that's pretty neat. Oh, so we're just gonna go around here. Um, I think there's something over here. I forget. Uh, yes, cut tree. Cool. Do, 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 do. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. I'm just gonna cut ahead. Ha! Uh, get it? Cut ahead. I'm so funny. Oh, that's the way to progress. I think. I don't want to progress. I want to go over there. Did that item? I want that item. No. What's over here? Um, is this for progress? No, looks like there's a hidden item somewhere here. And I'm too lazy to use the dowsing machine, so I'm just gonna look in every single spot. There's, there's simply nothing here. So I'm using the dowsing machine. Yes, there is. There's something over there. I could just want to check there. There's a big mushroom you sell it for money, like I probably said like 16 times, because for some reason there's a lot of mushrooms in this game for some arbitrary reason that I will never find out. Let's go get that item. Okay, I guess we'll battle you. That's nice. I guess I'll just keep this in because when I even know what I have in the lead I, I f completely forgot my party is so that's gonna suck if it's something crappy Also, my guys leveled up a little bit more I had no idea if they learned anything new because I don't really care Here's an Umbreon which is pretty good. Hell's a bulky Pokemon These Pokemon collectors are usually known for having like Pokemon they need to see for your deck So if you see a Pokemon collector you should battle them, even though a lot of them are mandatory So let's just EQ and I don't have any audio yo on. Oh my god. That was, must have been awkward. Whatever, I'm just gonna not even, whatever, I don't even care. I have audio now, you hear it? There, yeah. That was awkward, all right, let's just, each. I wonder why everything just felt so awkward as I was like doing it, and I was like, oh, duh, there's no audio, baby rib noob. So Umbreon's hell's a bulky, so this, oh, it's a KO, awesome, I w didn't think it would be. And you're just going to be an evasion noob, actually you're going to be an accuracy noob. And the like opponent's accuracy isn't against evasion, is it defend against evasion claws? I don't think it is, but it's not as good since you just switch out anyways. And I'm pretty sure it's not against VGC rules either, and look, he gets this accuracy axe, and he's going to stand attack me again. Oh, this is going to be fun, I had no idea how an earthquake could miss, other than Umbreon just jumping, which is what being a flying type is, and you're gonna go for the party quick attack, which won't do shit because you were intimidated last turn, and you're gonna- I'm gonna miss two times in a row. Hooray for missing twice in a row. I'm gonna miss three times in a row. I kinda wanna miss. Just guess because guess it's funny. That's what, oh, crit. That's nice. There we go. Goodbye, Umbreon. You're probably gonna live because Max Min is a bitch as well. Do -do -do. So yeah, I have a, you know I have a lot of stockpiled of these, and I like- and like it does live by one. I have a lot of these stockpiled to the point where I think I just uploaded a balance. Yes, I did. I uploaded like part 23 today, and it's like part 28 or something. I, I'm that far ahead. I, I gotta start uploading these daily because I just have way too many. I'm way too far ahead, which is weird because I love recording these. But I don't love uploading them for some reason because I'm lazy to upload stuff. And I miss again. Yay! More sand attacks. Okay, let's just hit, please. This is not fun. Why, why did Game Freak think accuracy and evasion were fun mechanics? It, it, it's just not fun. It's it's not fun. Just not fun at all. Yay, gain one hit point. What else you got? Probably more evolutions, I would probably guess. Yes, Rain, we get you. We have to show the animation every time. Espeon. Spork isn't Espeon. Normally I'd stay in and just bite it, but I kind of don't want to stay in for the accuracy drop. Uh, does Houndoom have a dark move? Let's check. It has... That's bite, cool. Let's go into Houndoom. Got some stab bite going on here. Should be a one at KO, and Espeon won't have much to hit me with anyways, so this will be cool. So there goes the Spork Espeon, and let's just bite it, because cool. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, you have Sand Attack too, of course you do. Please don't miss. Just, uh, if I had Fin Attack, that'd be awesome, since Fin Attack doesn't miss, and of course it misses the very first time. It's freaking minus one. Jeez, I'm thirsty. Unless I have juice with me, because I'm thirsty. Lazy. And I guess we can attack EVs, or do I get speed from this guy? I should just stop. I should really just stop worrying about EVs and natures and all that stuff, but it's so hard. Like, even when I was playing Black and White, I cannot help. I can't get something with a bad nature. It has to be at least neutral. It has to be good nature. 
Like, I remember I was looking for an adamant ruffleette for, like, ever, and I actually found one that was adamant, had sheer force, and had 31 attack IVs. Yeah, I'm dead serious. I still have that thing. That's my Braviary now. It's level 70, which is weird. That's TM64, Silver Wind is a bug type move, 60 base power special, and it has a 10% chance of raising all stats, just like Age of Power, which my Tokus learned the last part. So that is pretty neat. Oh, I guess. So going through here, we have a um, guy that only bio you at night, and I'm going to take that off because I like the normal brute music better. Uh, let's just, I don't think I have a repel up. Let's put up a repel before I run into a random Pokemon of sorts that will attack me. Do, do, do. I still, do you know that tiny mushroom I got on the very first part of this Let's Play and I still haven't actually sold it yet? That tiny mushroom right there. I, I should really sell that. I should keep it. I don't know. More, ma no, more not mandatory people. I, you gotta go north, but I just wanna get the item and hopefully Metal Gear my way out of this guy. Can I just go over here? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. This is a full heal. It heals every any kind of status ailment, including confusion, which is neat, but not infatuation, which is stupid. And here's another item, which is a blue shard. Again, good for move tutors. You, you want to get as many of these as you can. Eventually, you'll be able to use those move tutors to your advantage because they're very useful for for lots of stuff. Oh, that's not how do I? Oh, I have to battle those guys. Oh, jeez, a double battle. Last double battle I had was not very pleasant in this game. Let me tell you that. But hopefully this one will go better. Let's go up my standard Togetic Gyarados strategy because that strategy is still fucking epic. As long as they don't have any flyers of their own, it will be a good exercise of shenanigans and stuff. So let's see, who do we have here? We have two Pokemon Rangers, Allison and Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. He has a Monfrono, that's pretty interesting. And I'm pretty, okay, Monfrono's probably gonna die to an EQ. And Meryl probably won't at me, but I doubt it. So let's just Earthquake the Monferno and then Extra Sensory the Meryl, which will probably end up finishing it off in the long run. So let's just EQ everything. And like Brave Bird Everything. Because you know, PC Stardust is awesome. Brave Bird Everything. Ha. <laughs> that was hilarious. Because Brave Bird is the best move in the game. Obviously. It just is. So yes, Monferno's dead. Yay. Because you know, death is very good. That, 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 death is like the best thing of all time. The best invention. Never noticed that. It, I, I just realized that it actually hits the Pokemon in order of their speed. I never noticed that until like re like a few days ago. That's how it. I, I never noticed that. It was just a weird thing that I never bothered. Because who plays doubles competitively? Well, some people do, but like no one actually does. Is there anyone that like seriously plays doubles like a lot competitively? Usually, if people play doubles, it's just for fun, really. It's not really like seriously competitive. It's, 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 obviously, except for VGC. Do 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 what we have next. She has one Pokemon. That and it is a Leafy on another evolution, which is cool. So let's Dragon Ray uh, Ice Fang super effective, let's do that and Extra Century should finish it off, so I think this is the first time I'm actually using Ice Fang. Ice Fang sucks. It has 65 base power, it should be more, but it just isn't. And I don't get the branch and he's gonna raise a leaf which will hit both of me. Bo both of me. Both of me. Yes. But I won't do shit to either of my guys. And it crits my Togetic, which is annoying, but I don't care, because you're dead. Die. Yes. I'm inflicting more death, which is a very good thing. You should always spread death. So we're just about headed to the second part of this route, which I think I'm already at, but that doesn't really matter, because it's actually a completely different wild encounter rate. Like, a completely different set of Pokemon you can find. Nothing new, but it's just weird. And I have no idea how I'm going to integrate this into the sidebar, because I don't even know when the new part of the route starts. I guess when it stops raining. Oh, like that. See? It's still the same route, but there's, like, different Pokemon you can find, so... That is neat. So here's the, this route that we could enter we're south of Harphone City now. And there's this place right here. That's in Metal Gear. My way, added some more people. And my uh, power off, and avoid the security guard, because obviously I'm not supposed to be here. I should have read the sign outside. Right. There's no... Oh, yes, there is a sign. It is the Pokemon Mansion that I think Don was mentioning in a, couple, a few parts ago, so we're going to head inside here because this place is cool. Oh, item, 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 no, go back, back, item, give it to me, give it, 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 give it. It is a green shard, yay, more shards. There's a, they, they littered this place with a lot of shards in platinum, just to, you know, let you have lots of shards and stuff, because I guess, bro. I did say, this is the way to the trophy garden. The trophy guys open the offices up where you'd enjoy. However, please beware of wild Pokemon may appear inside the garden. Ah, huh, cool. So this is the trophy garden, and I'm just gonna go over the Pokemon you can find over in this cool garden here. 
Here we have a Pokemon that pretty much everyone knows. It's the Pikachu Lion. So uh, Pikachu, Pikachu and Pichu can both be found in this grass. It doesn't matter which you pick up. I do recommend getting a Pichu because you will, you'll be able to learn Nasty Plot by level up. So I do recommend that. But as a Pokemon, it's a great electric type. Highly recommend Pokemon if you're looking for electric type at this point in the game. Learn some pretty great moves by level up. Nothing too extraordinary. But it does have a pretty good um, TM move pool to learn moves like Grass Knot and even Focus Punch. This one's a really rare because it is. It can go physical. It has right the same amount of physical attack and special attack. So you can do a mixed thing. It also gets Volt Tackle which is a move you won't be able to obtain it through regular gameplay, but it's still a pretty good move if you want to know how to get it. It's kind of complicated, so I'm not going to explain it. But overall, it has a great mixed move pool. There's some pretty great moves. It's a highly recommend, highly recommend Pokemon, and you can, and you have, and you would have had a Thunderstone at this point in the game, so you kind of get to its full evolution at this point. So Raichu is a highly recommended Pokemon, even though I'm not a fan of Pikachu. I'm a high, big fan of Raichu. So, yes, Pokemon, there, nice. So what's interesting here is if you go, which is very actually this is very important, especially if you're playing Platinum. This is Mr. Backlot's health, and I don't know if he just lets random people in. Without Mr. Backlot, and he says, "Hello, hello, welcome my opulent mansion. There's a lot of me to be proud of inside, outside of my this this home." Blah blah blah. Mm. Attracted to my garden, and he talks about how different Pokemon attracted to his garden. Every time you talk to him, post National Lex, he will tell you new Pokemon's in his garden, and then you can go up there and pick up, and look for said Pokemon. It will be there. There's TM TM TM87 Swagger that um, confuses your opponent and raises their attack by two stages, which can be a double-edged sword, but can be pretty useful if you want to deal some extra damage via confusion. So if you're playing Platinum, it's, you need to read this book because this book will have the Pokedex entry for the Pokemon called Manaphy, extremely rare Pokemon. There it is, and now it's in our decks. That's it. Don't believe me? It is in our. Press the button. It is in our deck. What? Uh, sorry, that's a little higher. Almost there. Almost there. 118. That's not bad. I need to catch. I need. To, I need to see 100. I think 210 in this game. 118 is not bad. There's Manaphy. See, that is completely required in the most arbitrary Pokemon to find if you're looking to complete your Sinnoh decks to get the National decks near the end of the game. Why do they do that? I don't know, but it's just annoyingly obscure. Nothing else I really need to do in this place. I'm just gonna leave. That's all there is to do for the mansion. So we're just going to, I think every single one of these changes is completely optional. So I'm just gonna see you guys, I guess, north of Heart Home again, I guess, or some other stuff. Oh, wait, before I go, these guys right here, th this lady right here, and this guy, these guys are the richest people in the game. I, I know it's kind of a weird thing to say. These guys give a ton of money and once you're able to rebound people via v wait, wait, you can use the vs reseeker the bs reseeker yes the bs seeker and rebattle these people as much as you can especially once you beat the whole game and these guys give you a ton of money if you ever need a money grind look to these guys these guys give ridiculous amounts of money um late in the game i don't know much money they don't give that much money now they give a ton of money now but later in the game these guys give ridiculous amounts of money screw the elite four if you need money battle these two these guys are just ridiculously rich See, that's a lot of money. It's not that much, but it, get, it gets ridiculous at the points. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say no to free money. I'm just going to skip you, though. Also, these guys are pretty weak Pokemon, so they're pretty easy to take out. So, yeah, they're overall awesome. And I don't know why I'm avoiding the security guards, because it isn't nighttime, so they're not going to want to fight me. So, I don't know why. There's a ton of security guards here for some arbitrary reason. And I, I say arbitrary way too much. Is there an item over here? Uh, nope. Okay, let's see if I can avoid you, and we're back in Hard Home City, which is pretty neat. So yeah, we went through an entire circle, which is awesome. So now I'm just going to go to Silesian Town and meet you guys north of Silesian Town, so I will warp there. I still don't have any rash Pokemon, so I still can't do that stupid thing to get those Poket Japs, which sucks. And here now we can finally do, do something with these Psyducks since Cynthia gave us the Secret Potion uh, in the last part. I think it was an item I missed here somewhere around the cafe, if I remember correctly. But of course I'm wrong, and I probably picked it up off screen, but there's like a rare candy somewhere around here. But, or maybe it's somewhere else, but I don't know, there's something about a rare candy around here, and it's annoying me that I can't find it, but whatever. The dowsing machine's not that great in this game. Whatever, so let's use our secret potion. No! Okay, yes, 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 use secret potion. And they're cute of their chronic headache, and they're like, what the fuck? Ah, that last side looks like slow and stuff. So confused. Hey, wait for me, guys. Ah. And it's Cynthia. Thanks for the secret potion. Yep. 
I don't know why I couldn't just walk over them or something. This says deliver the old charm to Celestic Town, which is the next Dices Nation, which does not have a gym in it. No. I'm not gonna do something for some you dumb bitch. No. No. You win. Fine. So yeah, we just take this old charm. It doesn't do anything, but we just take it to her grandmother in Celestion Town. I mean, Celestic Town, whatever. So she just walks away because she's she's a lazy bitch and doesn't want to do it herself, which is whatever. So let's get this item. A max repel, and we are in a new. Are we in a new route? Not quite yet, but I think we are. I think I don't think this is a new route, but I think there are new Pokemon you can find here, anyways. In the northern foggy part of this route, only in Platinum, you can find the normal flying type slash dragon type Swab Blue, which will evolve into the dragon flying type Altaria. It's one of the very few dragon types you can get in this game, so it's somewhat recommended for that reminder if you're looking for a dragon type. This is one of your only options. It's a great Pokemon, not really. It, 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 it's kind of a bulkyish dragon, has good defenses, so it can take hits, but it can't deal a lot of damage. It does learn some really good moves at level, and most notable, it learns Dragon Dance, which is a move that raises your attack and speed, which is a very good move. That's a decent move for with respect from a dragon type and a flying type. It's pretty good. It's somewhat recommended if you're look if you're a fan of it, but not the best dragon or flying type again in this game. So it's somewhat recommended again if you are a big fan of it. I, I'd say go for it. But it's, there, there are better Pokemon out there in this game. All right, so let's just. I don't know if there's any. Is there any items in these things? I don't know. Yes, there is. There's something over here. It is right there. Full heal. Okay, that was not worth the effort, not even remotely. Oh, she isn't it, you're a ninja. It has a good game, Mr. Ninja Dude. And wait, isn't there fog up here? No fog, wild Roselias, but no fog. But um, yeah, here's Hyper Potion here, yeah, yeah, that's very nice. But I believe if you had up here-ish, there's fog. So you can, just like Flash, you can fully explore this place without defog, but it's highly recommended that you have defog, because it makes your life easier, and the battles will be in fog, and that's just going to be a pain to battle with. So I'm going to go back down, grab my Gligar, and just come back to that same spot, because I kind of forgot it. Alright, we're back over here, we're just going to go use our Gligar to do what he did in the tower, and just make this place less foggy. Unfogify. Yeah. Wasn't that great. And now you see those little patches, those are more ninjas that are going to pop out of the ground and attack you. So let's avoid them with our... I don't know, is, you, you, think Sna you really think Snake is a better Metal gear -er than actual ninjas? I don't think so. Alright, let's grab this Red Shard and be forced to fight a trainer that I'm going to skip because I don't feel like showing any more trainers. I've showed plenty in this part. Slow battles are slow and... Okay, these guys gave me nightmares. The very first time I played this game... There was fog on, and let's just say these guys almost beat me because I kept missing, and there was a double battle, and I suck at double battles. Okay, good. Come on, Metal Gear. Yeah, so fucking metal. Gear, that is. Uh, let's just go over this weird. Uh, and fast battle is fast. Okay, that's cool. Uh, there's a more rock smash rock. Like I said, I always carry all HMs for all times because unlike unlike. Why that doesn't force you to have all the HMs. This game loves throwing mandatory HM things with cool prices like TM30 Shadow Ball, which is an amazing ghost type move, a lot better than Fantina's Shadow Claw. Great for teaching ghost types, special ghost move, 80 base power, has a 20% chance to lower special defense, which is amazing. It's a great ghost type move to teach the most ghost types that are of special base, and even if you just want to teach it to another Pokemon for coverage, I may teach you to Houndoom. Okay, I lost my train of thought because I was thinking about the battle and I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, okay, this is really starting to get annoying. Town Doom's Learning Fire Fang here. It's a physical fire type move. It's the counterpart to Ice Fang and Thunder Fang. Obviously, don't want to teach it because even though Hound Doom can go make. Ah, uh, actually, you know what? It is, I, I, I actually had. I was actually going to teach it, but I pressed the wrong button. Whatever. Because Hound Doom has some useless moves at this point. But really, I'm not going to keep Fire Fang for long term. Anyway, Smoke Ball is pretty useful. Allows you to flee from any wild battle. So if you're having trouble fleeing, that would be a useful thing. And why are there so many battles on this route? Are we done this route yet? Yeah, this part's really, really long, and I'm tired. And please don't make me battle you. Metal Gear, thank you. So we're here in Celestic Town, and we're going to end things off here. So next time on Pokemon Platinum, we're going to explore this sort of mysterious city and try to figure out where to give that, and try to find Cynthia's grandmother to give that old charm to. See you guys, since I haven't saved the Pokeball in a while, then.